All right, so behind me is our RJO. We just debuted this. Tom and I did a video last week. I think it was Thursday or Friday we did a video. This is the RJO, and we've had, we brought it back. We just did, we're building 120 uh, 16 footers, which this is a 16 footer. This is the RJO that we sold. But we're going to step it up on some things, and we did a video. And let me explain that again on this video to help you understand. So we're going to build a 16, a 20, and a 24-foot RJO on our assembly line. Now, wow. this is for a 2024 assembly line. You can buy them now in 2023. We are going to be finished with our entire um, uh, uh, obligation of all of our credit boxes and RJOs by probably mid late January will be completely done. Wow. So we're taking orders for our 2024. Right now the prices how it'll be it'll be 299 is 30,000, 35 for a 20 footer and then 49950 for a big 24 foot RJO. That's all with the new panels. So this is all going to be on our website. I'll continue to give you more information at the end of this video and list all the amenities and some upgrades and some fun stuff that you guys can add to this house, all right? I like this house because it gets that, the gable roof, it's a triangle roof that runs across here, gutters on both sides, more looks, looks a little more traditional home. So in all reality, in 2024, we're gonna have two manufacturer assembly line homes. It's gonna be the Incredibox and it's gonna be the RJO. And this is the debut of the RJO. We'll see, we'll see what you all think. But now the RJO here is a total upgrade. And this is why. This is what's included in it. You're going to get the new panels, like the cottage and the one Manda's next to you right now. We'll show you that in a little bit. But they won't have all the fasteners. It'll be a smooth. Every 40 inches you have a seam. So all of it is a is two and five eight inch thick, double tongue and groove new panel system. Also... We're gonna include free delivery within a thousand miles of our facility. It's a, and it, or if you're further than that, we will give three grand, $3,000 to the delivery cost. Wow. Okay, so if you're in California and it costs five grand, we're gonna, you only have to pay two. We're gonna pay the three to the hauler. All right, so that's, that's included in the price. Also, a combo washer and dryer, refrigerator will, will include, mini split and bay window. We want it to be a turnkey. Yes. Now remember, this is a new paneled home, not the old door remnant panels, okay? Now, a couple upgrade packages. Well, before I get into that, let me show you the floor plan and the layout. Now, we have not built them, these three models. And as you guys know, if you've been following us forever, it's not like we don't know how to build them. We just haven't built them yet. The guys, I've always had to do this because we don't have enough people, enough time to build model homes, say, hey, okay, here you go, right? Buy these and then we'll start doing it. We are so busy building our RJOs, our credit boxes, our models. And I say, hey, if you guys wanna get on the ground floor right now, this is what we're gonna have. Now we'll have models in January to look at. I can't tell you where you're gonna be on the assembly line because I have a feeling what we're about to offer and what we're doing is I'm hoping it's really gonna be a good sale because we're including that delivery. You all don't have to do anything. We'll put the appliances in it, deliver it for you for one price. And I've always wanted to do this, but now we're just doing it. And I think it's because of our experience, our, our ability to build these in such a timely fashion and the materials that we're using. This new panel that we have, it's available. It's relatively, relatively available. We don't have to worry about the door panels. These have already sunk bottom into production. We don't know if we're going to get any more this year, and then it trickles into probably February, March before we get any. So that's why we're shifting our gears to these new panels. And it's just a, you know, on our Incredit boxes, it's just a $2,500 upgrade. Okay, so a little bit of difference. This, uh, this Incredit box that we, I mean, uh, RJO that we've done always had a rear entry. We're going to put that entry door on the side. And this is called the passenger side because that's the, the tongue up front, right? So in here, and we're gonna go inside and I'll show you, but in here is the kitchen. So the kitchen countertop is approximately 96 inches, stops here, then we're gonna put the door, okay? So that's where the door's gonna go to go. It's gonna swing to the left and you walk in. That'll go on the 20 and the 24 footer, not on the end. The reason on the end is because in here, you guys will see we have a kitchen, we have a bathroom and the doors in the back. We're gonna put the kitchen and bathroom 
with a washer and dryer in the back, okay? Or was it a fridge, Amanda? A fridge. Fridge. Mm -hmm. We're going to put the fridge in between, and then we got a new shower we're going to show you. There's some really cool upgrades on this RJL, and we'll go inside and show you more. Now, we painted this one. This was the old panels. On the new panels, what you will receive, it will be done like this. Now, this is, this is a new panel construction, and this is what it will look like on the outside. You'll get metal corners, right? A metal skirt board and metal trim around the windows. That's, that's the way it'll come for the price you're buying it for. If you want to upgrade and you want an all wood panel, let's show you over here, Amanda, on the cottage. The cottage has an LP siding trim. You see the trim here? The flower boxes, the shutters, the trim around the windows, the soft. If you want that upgrade, we could upgrade your RJO. I'm going to tell you right now, you take this house and you put flower boxes and shutters. Oh. You put that skirt board and trim. It's so adorable. My it gosh, is. it's so adorable. You go from the cottage to the RJO like that. It is just, the, it is that warm home look and feel. And this is what right? we're talking about, an old panel. What? This describe, is the old panel, see, see the, the screws. Ribbon? Yes. And, and of course, we've done a great job painting these. And yes. I don't know, I, I, don't, I, hardly, I don't even see the screws Nobody, anymore. you hardly see it. But the new panels like this. Will look like this. It is a big difference. Big difference. All right, so this is the new panel. There's no fasteners. New panel, it's old thicker. panel. They are thicker, and with more thickness comes more energy efficiency mm -hmm. and stronger. Not saying that this is not energy efficient whatsoever. Because it is. There's more, right? Okay. So with the door on the side, so in your head, if you can imagine no door here, okay, and there'll be a refrigerator where the door is, and let's go inside. Okay. I'll show you. Ace has been waiting to go inside very Come on, patiently. Buddy. There you go. <laughs> Probably, Amanda, I guess if you, well, when you walk in, you'll have the same bay window. Okay. Mini split in this 16 footer. You'll have the bay window mini split and. And the door is here. And the door will be right here. That's okay. exactly right. Mm -hmm. The door goes here. So if you want, will not you come here? Yeah. And then I'll show you. Now, we are going to flip this design. So the, the bathroom will be here. The kitchen will be there because we want the door to open up against the shower wall. Oh, so the kitchen will not be there. Yeah, it will be flipped. Okay. It will be a mirror. Okay? okay. So the door will still be here, but okay. this will be the bathroom. Mm -hmm. So when you walk in, it goes up against the, the bathroom wall. Good. Okay. okay. Now, what we're going to add to this is a farm style sink. Oh my good. You have to have it, right? You got to have You got to have the farm style yes. sink in here. So, one up a couple upgrades just to think about and we'll give you the prices if you wanted an all wood trim interior, right? Like the cottage, it's all painted white trim. This for the base price of the RJ with the new panels, you'll come with a metal trim. You'll come with some metal trim that we have. All them screws, of course, will not be there None because this is the screws. old panels. Yeah. But it will become, it'll come with the metal trim around the windows, around the, the fasteners and stuff like that. But it's okay. not nearly as many screws as this. Right. But you do get the bay window, the mini split. Now, down here is where the fridge will be. Okay. And remember, the door will not be there, guys. There's going okay. to be a going to be a refrigerator right here. Mm -hmm. We're going to include the refrigerator in the price. Beautiful. Refrigerator. And then right here, because um, you'll have a kitchen here, I want to put a combo washer and dryer here. Yes. Hookups and appliance. I want to add the appliance to it, okay? Yes. That way you've got it. You've got your combo washer Everything. and dryer. You have your refrigerator, and then you have your door coming in. Now, this is a 16-footer, right? So when you come in, your door's going to swing here. You can't put anything in this area. So when you come in... You've got your bay window. This could very easily be a flip up, and we may have to look into that to see how right. we can help you. If we could flip this over and this be a bed, then you flip it back and you've got all this room in here still. You know, it's mm -hmm. a 16 footer. Now you still have a loft. Now some people are saying, hey, what about the loft? Now that's up to you what you want to do with the loft, but if you're going to spend any time up there, I would put an egress window. Yes. There, okay. And that egress window is an upgrade that we can put an egress window. If we do do that, 
Now, will this be here, this brace or whatever this is? That, it might. That might be there. Yeah. Um, but the water heater will be right here, which is a great spot for it. This is a hidden spot. So the water heater will be here. Your refrigerator will be here. You just pull your fridge out to work on your water heater and put it back. So, but, but let's flip it. The kitchen's over there. Exactly. Yeah, Everything's so flipped. just, yeah. yeah. Okay. And the reason we do that is put the door on that side. So no water heater up there. So you have that whole loft. What For can, storage. What can fit up there at the loft? So you put the egress. Where does the egress go? On the end wall. On the end wall. Yep. Okay. Beautiful. Now, if you go to a 20 foot home. Okay. You got four more feet. Yes. Now you can upgrade if you want an interior loft over the living room area if you want to do that yeah. for more storage or you might want to be a sleeping quarters or something. So you can add on a loft up there. So think about it, you're going four more feet. If you wanted to add a small loft there, you can do that. Yes. And same layout, same everything. But as we get bigger, the 20 footer, we're going to put a closet. Okay. Um, as you walk in behind the door, behind the end of the, like, Let's go here, Amanda. Mm -hmm. So like right here, what we'll do on the 20 footer, we'll put like about an 18 inch closet that you can open here, a pantry on the front that's mm -hmm. included in it. So needed. And then the door will open up against that. Beautiful. So you get a closet pantry in the 20 footer and in the 24 footer, you do get the same. You get a closet, you get the pantry. Now the 24 footer is eight feet longer. And what we can, what we're imposing to do is put an interior wall in it. No loft, but if you do want a loft, you can upgrade to a loft. But you'll have a barn door. All of, Everything will have doors. The bathroom will have a door. The bedroom will have a door in the 24-footer. So hey. you will get a barn door on here. Probably, what was a la last but not least? Last but not least. Come here, let me show you. Hey. We're going to do a different type of shower. Now, I'm... I'm Throwing this out here before I've even this talked to John. This was brand new news All right. this morning. This was, I said, no, I don't want to do these anymore. I'm going to try to see okay. what we can do. All right. All right. So when you buy, when we install, this is a 32-inch shower. Yes. I know we'd love to do a bigger shower. But if you do, you lose your you room lose in here. right here. So this is a 32-inch shower. When you go to Lowe's, they take the dimensions outside to outside. So this is probably about 28 inches. 28 inches. If you get a 36 inch shower, you're probably 32. 32. All right, inside, inside. Yeah. What we're gonna do, and it's an upgrade, is we're gonna put a shower pan on the floor. Okay. And we're gonna put wallboard, which is a marble wallboard. I don't, I don't know if they call it, it's probably not real marble, but if you go to hotels and they got that beautiful, looks like tile or it looks yes. like flowing marble on it, we get that. Lowe's has got that, and we're gonna put we're gonna put that on the walls here, and that's gonna give us an extra three, probably three inches, to the size of this thirty-two inch shower. Okay. So if we do that, that's gonna give us more room in here. Absolutely. Now, if we can get a thirty-six shower and put them wall board and still obtain enough room in here for you, we will. You gotta understand, we got a barn door that's coming in here. And that's going to take about three inches. Yes. So if we've got 31, 32 inches, you're going down to 28. That's getting really close, especially if you got to have any uh, any kind of an assistance to get in and out of your your house. Yeah. Yeah, we got the mini split. Well, I was looking. It. I know. I was looking to see if I yeah. could turn the lights it's on. It's on uh, because this one is on solar. Oh, that is right. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Let me show the bathroom really quick. I'm gonna get in the shower right here and show the other side. Probably the breakers on. So this cabinet that's in here is for the solar. That's not going to be a part of it. I wonder you got kitchen lights now. I'm sorry, my phone wasn't turned off. What's that, Amanda? The cabinet. That's just so this is the a solar. solar. This is a solar cabinet. Yeah. So we got all the upgrades here for that. Okay. Yeah. Now, oh, and also there will be a sink in here. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. There's a lot of upgrades. A lot of upgrades. A, a um, half moon sink, the new shower with the wall panels, farm style sink inside here. I'm excited about that. Yes. The new panels that we have the construction with, you're going to have an opportunity for on the 20 and 24 footers. You can get a new loft if you'd like in there, but it comes with the bay window. It comes with the mini split. The 16 footer is 29 nine. Okay. And also, you can add solar. Oh, you can add anything. Off we can add solar. We can add all of our 24 amenities that we have. The one thing that I think you guys would probably, re probably really like 
is probably an egress window up there yes, if you're thinking about that. I would do that. And then, <clears throat> you know, the lofts for storage. But if you get into the 20 and the 24 footer, and if you want a loft over your bedroom for more storage, you can opt out for that. That's fine. Um, but there will be an interior wall with the 24 footer. We're going to go and show you a drawing real quick. I'm going to do my magic on a chalkboard. So just at all, the, just really quick. So you're going to do the 16, a 20, and a 24. Let's go draw it. All right, so now we're told you we do some drawings for you, and here we are. This is the 16. Look, I got my little stick with <laughs> nails in it. And this is the 16, the 20, and the 24. I think it, me getting out of the way would probably be better just to show you. Let me go over all this. You guys kick back, listen to what I'm saying, and see what you think. Okay, this is the Tom right here. And then we've got a bay window included in this, which is the bay window here. We got the mini split that sits up above, like in the model we were just in. And the delivery included, which is massive. This is three quarters of the United States we're going to get across. I know it's at a thousand miles. It's like three grand we're looking at putting in, included in this, um, in this price. $29.9 for a 16 footer. Just get it out there done. Water heater underneath the counter, refrigerator. You're going to get a refrigerator and it's a 10 cubic foot refrigerator, washer and dryer combo, the appliances included, and also this is the new panels like we talked. So the floor plan, let's talk about it. Shower, sink, half moon sink, and toilet, refrigerator, water heater, farm style sink. This is your kitchen area. And then your washer and dryer is underneath the counter right here. As you walk in, your door hits up against the shower wall, close it, this is your living room. Now this is a living room bedroom, of course, you know, on your 16 footer. There's a loft above the kitchen and bathroom. Now, if you want to have any light or window up there, it's an egress window. We've got them right here. Where did I put egress windows? If you want one above there, we can put one in for you. Okay, we have all these prices on our, on our website. You want to upgrade to a 20 footer. This is an eight foot wide. You know what? I didn't write that width on there. Everybody's like, Randy, how wide is it? It's eight foot. All right. These are eight foot models. And the reason is because we can deliver them across the country without any wide load permits. It's a legal tiny house on wheels. All right. So here you got us a 34.9, 34.9 for a 20 foot RJO refrigerator, washer and dryer, shower, bathroom sink, toilet, electric water heater, washer and dryer appliance, refrigerator appliance. And now you've got this bigger living room. All right. Bay window, mini split, all included, everybody. So from, yeah, from this line up, all included. Okay. And then the Mac Daddy 24 footer. 24 footer, it's like a home. And I love this is because you can actually have a separate bedroom. Bedroom, living room, and kitchen. Now, how I've got it labeled, kind of like laid out in my head, is this bedroom is like eight foot wide, the living room's eight foot wide, and then the kitchen bathroom is eight foot, so it's 24. Now, there's a few inches less than that because the whole house outside to outside is 24 feet. But as you can see, the difference between the 20, 24, and the 16 is behind the door here, I'm putting a closet and pantry. So you can access the pantry from the kitchen you can access after the door's closed, behind the door is a closet. And the same goes for the 24 footer here. I'm leaving this up to you guys because you know as every tiny home you buy, there's room for growth. There's room for custom, customizations, if you will. So in here, if you would like, oh, I'm, you know what? Washer and dryer is on this one too. Washer and dryer, okay. You can always put a cabinet here. You can put a cabinet here. You can put stuff the way, the way you want to do. I don't want to fill them full of closets and take up more living space. And you say, you know what? I really don't need that. I've got other ideas. Now, if you want to put a loft above this, this right here, this, this one is just one wall. It's open in the triangle part. Okay. So the air will flow into the bedroom and the living room. So you've got this wall here, if, if you would like. Now, if you want a loft over top of that and maybe a smaller loft over the 20 footer, we can do that right here. Here's an upgrade for the lofts. If you want egress windows, we can do that. And of course we got our upgrade or solar. Now, the one thing I talked about up, up top when we were just doing at the beginning of the video is the exterior trim and the interior trim. 
If you want it to look like our cottage style home, you know, remember it had, we could even put shake shingles on it if you like. We can go on, but it costs more money. But wow, would that not look amazing to have shake shingles or the LP siding, the, the flower boxes, the shutters. If you want all that on there, we'll be glad to come up and I'm gonna come up with a price on this thing for you guys, all right? Interior trim, now the interior and extra will all be the metal trim around the windows, the corners, the skirting board, it all looks great, just like we did on the, the big panel uh, off-grid home up there. But if you do want the LP siding trim and in the interior, you want all your nice pretty wood on the inside and we paint that, because I think it looks better white on the white walls with the white trim, and that's been a real uh, seller for us. We can do that, okay? And that's putting trim around the, the base and the corners and, and all that. And we'll show you what it is. But if you'd like to look into those, let us know if that's something you guys were doing. Now, I know this is kind of crazy. We haven't built three, three of these models yet. We have built this one here. We haven't put the door on the end. And you guys, this is the way we've always done. I've talked earlier in the video about how we're doing this. This is offering in 2024. Construction will not start until mid-January of 2024. These are the prices that we think we can sell these at. It's 29, 34, and 49, all right? So you guys, let me know what you think. I love this house. I love it because it's the gable, right? And I know I'm drawing this. You guys have seen this at the beginning of the, of the show. And it gives it a whole different look with the door on the side and the window in the window. And if you guys have been waiting for this to come out, I really love this look of the home, all right? So we're gonna have two manufactured homes. It is gonna be our amazing Incredibox at the amazing price, and it's eight by 20 also, but it's a whole different, whole different deal. This is that gable roof. We're including delivery, mini split, bay window, farm style sink, washer and dryer, refrigerator, and the new panels for that price. That's just nuts, okay? So if it's something you're interested in, give us a call. Email us at info at Incredible Tiny Homes, sales at Incredible Tiny Homes. Send a pigeon, smoke signals, whatever you can do. Ah. I'm excited about this. I'm hoping that we can see what you guys think for 2024. As you guys know, we have to look ahead. I've been thinking about this for a couple months. Now we're trying to get into our sales for 2024 and get these guys some work, all right? So if this is something you think about, you like what we're doing, give us a call. And remember, you can always come here. You can always come and talk to us. You can look at our facility, look at our homes. We have models galore. We all, and we don't, don't not only just have these, we've got other models to choose from. All right? So hope that answers your questions, and I'm sure it confused most of you. All right. Bye.